Hey everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Phoenix filter wheel by Player One Astronomy. I don't know if you can hopefully see right there, this is just a box. I've opted for the, if you can see with this camera, the 8 by one25 inch version. It actually comes in four different sizes if I just uh, switch this across. You can see they're offering a 7x50, a 7x2, a 7x36 and an 8x1.25 so that's the one I'm going to be taking a look at. Um, basically I wasn't even going to make this but I thought I do need to do an unboxing, uh, hopefully share it with you guys out there and it might help one or two people but it also seemed like a decent opportunity to try and uh, maybe compare alongside the other two filter wheels I own so that is the, if I just switch this view across for you. <laughs> EFW Mini uh, by ZWO. Got one of those, and also our current filter wheel that we have been using, which I'm about to retire. I think in favour of this Phoenix filter wheel, the ZWO 8 by 1.25 EFW, uh, which has been a good filter wheel. In in all honesty, no real complaints. So um, yeah, basically that's what this video is going to be. I've got a second camera set up, uh, hopefully we can use that for some close-ups and things like that, so I'll just start clearing off my workspace ever so slightly, if I can. Apologies for the uh, rough and ready nature of this video, but it is what it is. Um, right, so, box, nice fully printed, full colour box, oh, you always like to see it. Just going to get up on the screen the included comparison uh, accessories list so what we've got right here first thing that greets you is a male to male t2 to t2 adapter so that's m42 do you believe um an m42 to 1.25 inch nose piece with a nice little rubber cover on the end of that thing an m42 to 1.25 inch rotor lock actually Really quite a nice looking little bit of kit as it happens, just to say it's an included extra. Um, just quickly get that put out of the way. And in here we have a type C to type A USB 2 2 meter cable. So hopefully you can see this type C terminates in a 90 degree crank. Also, uh, sometimes makes cable management that bit easier. So I'll move this across to one side now. Space on my desk is uh, at a major premium. Um, I'm greeted now by a M2 hexagonal wrench. Sometimes just called an Allen key where I'm from. And hopefully I'm not going to damage anything getting this out. Uh, let's take a little look. So this is the filter wheel itself. This is, a, the, as I said, the 8x1.25 version. Hopefully you guys can see that thing. Very sleek looking, uh, quite impressed. I'm gonna move these accessories off to just one side now, real quick, because I'm not gonna need all of them. I'll really just need this Allen key, I imagine. So I can swap over my filters out of the, uh, the other wheel. Um, so just taking a look at this thing now. Uh, beautiful anodizing job. It's case split seems to be a lot thicker actually than on the ZWO filter wheel. If I just put this side by side for you. So these are both facing forwards now effectively. Hopefully you can see the face plate on the ZWO is actually set to be much thinner. This is quite a deep split that I'm going to take off. Um, now I've got this just about decently ready. Uh, I'm wearing... <laughs> Gloves aren't going to give off tons of dust and things like that. Um, hands are washed. Workspace is relatively clean and I've got a dust bulb with me. So any uh, dust that I transfer onto these filters by accident, I can just blow straight off uh, and hopefully not contaminate anything. <clears throat> I'll try to keep talking, but carefully uh, throughout the installation period of this. Uh, I'm going to take the front off the play on phoenix actually right now first so i'm gonna use the included hex key that's one immediate thing that i notice um the player one wheel comes with these little hex bolts rather than uh, your standard phillips head like you see on the uh, zwo offerings 
any of you mechanics out there are probably grimacing at the fact that I haven't used a, a star undo pattern for these. <laughs> Let's get these ones loosened up too. So as you can see, as I mentioned, the ZBO is using um, standard Phillips head screws. Not that it really matters either way. I just do think that on balance, a, uh, a hex head looks that little bit neater than a screw. But that, maybe that's just me. Right, everything's loosened up, so I'm going to go ahead and start to really wind out these screws now. I'll just keep this going for you guys. Why not? Maybe uh, it's a good opportunity to talk to you a little bit about other stuff that's been going on, so... Uh, for those of you who follow all my uploads, you might notice I haven't actually uploaded in a couple of weeks. A um, couple of reasons for that. Very, very bad weather. <laughs> As you can uh, maybe imagine, in fact, it's actually snowing outside right now. Uh, that's fully loosened, but I'll leave it on just to act as a dust cover. It's actually snowing here. Um, we've got a, as we call them, a beast from the east in the UK right now. Uh, and aside from that, I've actually been rather unwell, unfortunately. Um, Chloe's got a little bit of time off work, so we decided we we're going to spend that time together. And so immediately, I find myself unwell. Uh, as it as it goes, that's just my luck. Right, everything's undone. I think I will take the faceplate off the player one to start with. So I'm just going to leave those um, bolts captive inside of here. And hopefully not knock them <laughs> over the uh, the desktop. Really nice machining inside. I'm running out of space rapidly. I'll put this back in the box, hopefully. So, um, there is the wheel itself. So it, it is able to be moved while it's not powered. Uh, this one uses a Hall effect uh, sensor. So it's magnetic positional sensing. Um, which apparently is higher resolution than the standard, uh, I do believe, infrared and uh, like a hole interference sensors that you see in most filter wheels. Uh, that said, if I'm being completely honest, um, I've never had an issue with positional accuracy on a uh, yes, standard filter wheel before. Well, maybe that's just me. But it is nice to see that they're... Uh, innovating and trying to do better than what's currently on the market so here you can see just the inside of the ZWO it's already loaded up with the astronomic filters is that one and there is the body size of the player one if you can just see the face excuse me the face plates of both of these I am struggling with the sore throat at the minute so uh, excuse the odd pause hopefully you can see that um, Interesting to note that the player one is using it feels like yeah, it is it's a rubber Drive wheel attached to quite a large uh, axle on this um, stepper motor ZWO is using a much smaller spindle. It's just uh, like a small like you'd see on a little motor um, like a child's motor car effectively which presses up hard against a like a drive band that's around the entire outside like a huge o-ring hopefully you guys can maybe see that if i just bring this close up not sure which of the two methods is actually better um but what else can i test for maybe any slap uh, in that drive it feels like there's no backlash really on the zwo and the Player one is incredibly solid, actually. Zero possible backlash as it's just a friction drive system. That's not something that should surprise anybody. Um, right, so I'm going to put these in some kind of order. So I want one into one. Uh, I will be making a note of the position that these filters come out. So hopefully you can see with this camera angle what it is I'm doing. So I'm going to take out the first filter. My filters always go L, R, G, B, H, O, S. 
And then the eighth filter in this case is an IR742, I believe, for some potential planetary work. Uh, so I'm going to take them out of here, put them straight into this. As you can see, both are numbered in the exact same order. Um, so starting with that L. All right, guys, so these have been uh, now transplanted straight across. Hopefully you can see from the old ZWO wheel into the new Phoenix wheel right there. Looks wonderful now, it's full of those filters. Um, before I put that faceplate back on, I'll just give these a little dust. Doesn't look like there's really anything on them. But it can't really hurt to do this, can it? As long as I'm not going to blow dust onto them. Okay. Time to install that faceplate back on. Oops. Orient myself with it. Nice to know that there was no uh, exposed electronics inside of that player one filter wheel. Um, I don't think it really matters, but you know, these things in some cases do see some slightly interesting conditions. Um, maybe if you've been outside when it's freezing cold, uh, things are going to get damp. Maybe it's slightly better protected on this wheel. I don't really know. Can't say with any authority, but it just seems to make sense to me. Okay, they're all winding back in very nice. Awesome, I'll give those a little bit of a tighten up in a moment. Now, it is worth knowing, I know I already mentioned the type of cable that this uses, but just bring this up close you can hopefully see this is again a USB C to USB A that it actually uses I think with the newer player one cameras they do come with a link cable uh, allowing you to try and kind of like put the filter wheel to the camera uh, with a very short easy to manage cable um, I know some people <clears throat> Excuse me, thought it was giving me trouble. Uh, are massive fans of USB-C, but for me, I just look at it this way. I mean, you've got one on your phone. You know, you use it every single day, or at least I do. And uh, when was the last time one gave you trouble? For me, I've never had a USB-C fail, uh, but I've had plenty of USB-A's fail, that is for sure. Anecdotal, I realize. Um... But hey, it is what it is. That's all I can tell you. Now, as good as this filter wheel and camera has been, I am actually going to be looking at selling this on soon for Chloe because uh, Player One are interested in uh, enough releasing their own version of the IMX533 monos. And I think we would very much like to take a look at one of those when they come out. Um, I've been thinking, for anybody who's actually still watching this video, I'll be amazed if there is anybody and I'm not just talking to myself, but I have been thinking uh, about what I want to do this coming season, really, um, scopes-wise and imaging-wise. I would like to actually take a look at some mono imaging, as well as keep going with the one-shot color stuff. Also, a little bit longer focal length. Um, there's a chance I may get to test out a Sharp Star SCA260 at some point. So that could be very interesting indeed. Um, that'll fit the long focal length bill, that's for sure. <laughs> Just take this thing off. I'm going to use these potentially as a cap, I think. Oh man, I hate spaces sometimes. They always seem to uh, weld in place. Okay, so that's going to act as a 16.5 mil spacer for me right there. Now I'll take the camera off this. And that should just wind on as well. No big deal. And then... 
we are about done with this. Um, but as I mentioned at the start, I would like to just kind of try and show you these side by side really quick so you can get an idea of the sizes of these units. I don't know what use it would be to anybody, but why not? Not everybody's got three of these to put side by side, so uh, there you have it. You can see just how dinky this little filter wheel is. This has been a great little filter wheel, actually. Uh, yeah. I've enjoyed that and I won't be selling this thing. Um, but I think Chloe has mentioned that she would like to get rid now of the ZWO kit and move over to some uh, Player One stuff that we've been enjoying testing. So, that's probably about it, guys. I, uh, I've made a video out of nothing here, I realize. Still, it's been nice to try and uh, chat to you a little bit, let you know some of my intentions and ideas for what's going on, and hopefully, it'll be of use to maybe even just one person out there. So with that said, um, I think that's about it. So thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to everybody giving you support. You already know I appreciate it, but I'm saying it again. I really do. Um, so until the next one, hopefully my skies are going to clear up again sometime this year. Uh, it seems like <laughs> I haven't seen a clear sky in uh, four weeks or something now. Ridiculous. But anyway, uh, it will have to clear up, and I will be waiting. So uh, until then, look after yourselves, and uh, clear skies.